there, this is Shirley Albright and your independent Scentsy Consultant and today I want to show you how to set up your fragrance flower. Your fragrance flowers are going to come in two separate boxes. It's going to come in one box is going to have your oil jar and the other box is going to have your flower. These flowers are made out of solo wood from India. Um, they're available in 16 different scents. We do have specials on them. Um, on occasion where we'll get some type of special flower it'll be a limited time offer so they'll come in real quick and they'll leave pretty quick because they're usually pretty popular our fragrance fra regular fragrance flowers are $18 each however we do have a combine and save for these you can get three of them for $48 um, by using the combine and save and it'll actually save you six dollars these come in 16 different fragrances. I'm also going to add a video down in the description of this video where you can actually see how these fragrance flowers are made. Um, so that's pretty cool. So first we're going to start out with the oil. I'm going to go ahead and get it open for you. You're going to open the box. It's going to have this little silver ring. You're going to want to keep that. So you're going to pull your oil out. This particular oil, this was actually one of the special ones. Um, this is simply the zest. As you can see, it's got an orange color to it. And when the fragrance flower soaks up the oil, it's actually going to change the color of the fragrance flower where the normal ones, this would be clear and the fragrance flower would stay the color that it is. It wouldn't change. So I'm going to open, you've got plastic that you have to pull off, um, which sometimes is pretty hard to do. Get this off here for you. So we pull it off all the way down to the bottom. And I usually just, once you get it and you start spinning it, um, it's also going to have instruction information in it. So we're going to set that box to the side. You'll unscrew this cap. This cap will go in the garbage because the silver one's going to replace it. However, you'll see here this has a plug, so this is so that the oils don't leak. Um, so you're just gonna pop this plug out carefully. Okay. And the silver cap will go on. And as you can see, the silver cap is just so that it covers those threads and makes it a little more pretty. And you still have your hole for your flower to go in. So we're going to set that right there to the side for a minute. Then you have your fragrance flower. You pop the box open. There's going to be another box in there that's protecting your flower. This is your stem or your wick, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you're going to pull this box out. Set that to the side. Oh, I can already smell the fragrance on that, and it is amazing. So you're going to pop your box open. And there is the beautiful Sola Wood Flower. So these flowers, this particular flower here is the Dahlia Darling. Um, we have three different styles. So we have the Dahlia Darling, we have the Buttercup Bell, and we have the Dainty Daisy. And I'll show you those in the catalog in just a minute. So you'll just grab your flower, pull it out, because your stem was through the hole. I'm just going to set that there for now. Here's your stem. As you can see, this is kind of shows you that how it's made a little bit. So I want you guys to really watch that video on how they're made, though, because it's really cool. So if you look really close, you'll see this white paper right here. Um, that paper, most people don't even realize it's there, and they just stick their flower in, and that's, that's perfectly fine. But that paper is meant to come off. Um, so I usually grab it, and if you twist a little bit, it usually will slide right off but this one's not wanting to so you can peel it but i'm gonna keep trying to twist it's coming but it's not coming good all right this one's being just a little difficult so maybe it'd be better if you did find the edge usually i get them pretty good all right it's peeling now and there you go. Oh, that was only part of it, actually. There's the rest. So, the paper is off. Now, there is a metal wire in there, so if you want to have your flower standing straight up, um, facing the ceiling, you can. Or if you've got it up high and you want to bend it, you can bend it a little bit. 
So, and then you just stick it right in there. And ta-da! Usually you don't see those white, that um, string where they're made, so you can just snip that off if you do have something like that. But there's our fragrance flower. And like I said, this one's got this special color oil, so at some point in a few hours, I'll start seeing that color come through, through the center. And by tomorrow, the entire flower is going to have a shade of orange and be really pretty. You can see the jar right here says Scentsy. Um, so that is fragrance flower. And again, that's the, the Dahlia Darling, which is on the box. And the other ones, just so you can see what they look like. This is the Buttercup Bell. That's the Darling Dahlia, which is what we just opened. The Buttercup Bell, which is really pretty. And then we've got this Dainty Daisy here, which is actually new. So this is a QR code. I don't know if you can scan it from your phone now, but this is going to show you how it's made. And I'm also going to put the link down um, for you guys to be able to click on that as well. So that's our fragrance flower. Have a great day.